Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for coming in to our presentation early. Uh, we are just going to wait maybe a minute or two to see if we have a few more individuals joining us, and then we will start at about two after 11, two minutes after 11. So if you would allow us, thank you. All right, thank you all again. Um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna begin. Um, thank you for joining us today. My name is Francesca Lloyd McDavid. I am the marketing officer with the Faculty of Social Sciences at the UE Muno. And I'm also a lecturer within the weekend program. So I am delighted to welcome you to the FSS UE Muno weekend program presentation on how to complete your degree on Saturdays. Now, completing a degree while managing work or other co commitments can be quite challenging. However, it is an incredible, Im incredibly important goal to pursue. Today, we will discuss the significance of completing a degree despite these challenges. A degree holds numerous advantages that can transform your life. Firstly, it provides you with a solid foundation of knowledge and skills in your chosen field. This ex expertise enhances your professional capabilities, making you more competitive and eligible for higher level positions. Additionally, earning a degree opens doors to new opportunities. It can lead to career advancement, salary increases, and a broader range of job perspectives. Moreover, obtaining a degree demonstrates perseverance, dedication, and a commitment to personal growth, which are qualities highly valued by employers. Now let's move into the main objectives of our presentation today. Our primary goal is to introduce you to the FSS UEMONA weekend program, a specially designed program that allows individuals to complete their degrees while balancing other commitments such as work or family responsibilities. 
Throughout this presentation, we aim to provide you with a comprehensive understanding of the FSS UMONA weekend program. By the end of this presentation, we hope you will have a clear understanding of how the program can help you achieve your educational goals despite your busy schedule. Uh, we're gonna do a little feel good intro video. Um, and then we're gonna go over the agenda before I introduce the first presenter. Excellent. So, as mentioned, our presentation today is how to complete your degree on the weekend, specifically on Saturdays. And we will be going over um, an overview of the weekend program and our Associate Dean, Dr. Lisa Vassiani, will be going through this presentation with you, as well as flexible learning options. Then we will have Ms. Kian Henry, which is the program coordinator for the weekend program, going over academic support and resources, as well as the admissions process and requirements. So before we proceed, I encourage you to jot down any questions you may have during the presentation, and we will have a Q&A session at the end of the presentations to address your queries. Now, without further ado, let us dive into the exciting world of FSSU Moona Weekend Program um, and explore how it can help you to achieve your dreams. We will kick things off with Dr. Lisa Bassiani, who will be presenting an overview of the weekend program and the flexible learning options open to students. Dr. Lisa Bassiani is a senior lecturer in international relations within the Department of Government, and she's the Associate Dean for Partnerships and Resource Mobilization, and she has responsibility for the weekend program. So take it away, Dr. Vassiani. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. And I would just like to get a pulse of how everyone is feeling. So if you could use your emojis, well, if you could join the chat and type an emoji that lets me know or lets us know how you're feeling today. For me, I'm feeling grateful. despite all the challenges around us. Uh, <laughs> Francesca is, looks like she's feeling a little discombobulated. <laughs> okay, Peter Plummer, you're feeling okay. Daniel Beckford, good to see you. Feeling okay. Denoy Martin, looks like grateful. Alexia Murray, I'm not sure what you're feeling today, but I hope it's good. So thank you for that. And if anyone else feels like letting us know how they feel, uh, good. We know you have several things to do and we're very grateful that you have joined us today to learn a little more about the faculty of Social Sciences Weekend Program. The weekend program started a few years ago <laughs> uh, 
when our faculty, our faculty's dean, then Dean Mark Figaro, realized that we had so many individuals who wanted, who found their education important, but who wanted other options other than the regular nine to five work, uh, coming to classes after work or getting time off from work during the day to come to get classes, to do classes. So the faculty's weekend program is a very attractive option for those persons who cannot get time off to attend classes and also for those individuals who have home responsibilities and who have other responsibilities and just cannot afford the time off to spread their education across several hours each day across the week. Now, the weekend program, which is actually a, a Saturday program for now, allows you to complete your entire degree only by coming to classes on Saturday. So it's not Saturdays and Sundays. It's not evening classes after work when you're tired and you have to beat the traffic to, to get to UE. You come to class on a Saturday and learn from the same lecturers who teach and deliver the same program you do would do had you registered in the regular uh, Faculty of Social Science degree programs. You end up doing the program, getting your degree in a slightly longer time had you than if you had registered for it as a full-time regular student, but you, it perhaps takes you a year longer only if you stick to the schedule that we suggest. And so the faculty has designed this program, especially with individuals who have an intense work responsibility, individuals who have a family life and are unable to, or prefer to commit their time to their work and family during the week. More recently, however, we noticed that we have a younger cohort of individuals wanting to join our weekend program. And these include younger persons who are graduating from a sixth form program or who have worked for a few years. And we know the realities of today's uh, economic environment that many of us, many of you have to work and work full time. And so the weekend program will give you the flexible option to commit your Saturdays only to pursuing your degree. So it's an entirely quality controlled program. And so it's fully accredited. You are just pursuing the same degree that others pursue on a Saturday. We have small class sizes and so you are at an advantage in that you get more one-on-one -on -one attention from your lecturers and tutors. And you also are in a classroom with or lecture room with individuals who have similar goals in life. That being said, we have found that uh, as our classes diversify and there are some professionals who have been in the world of work for a while. And as we see more and more persons leaving high school and wanting to pursue their degree after working for a few years, it's like a family in the weekend program. And those who have a closer time to just having graduated from school are able to keep those who have been out of the educational system for a while to keep them on their toes. And those who have more work experience are able to teach some of the younger individuals, younger peers, time management. And so 
everyone pulls from each other's strengths and we really have quite a family in the weekend program. And this is really a strong learning environment where you learn to develop your strengths, identify your, your weaknesses and learn from each other and from your lecturers. Now we have had several successful individuals who have completed different programs in the different degree programs with us. The most recent is, uh, was one of the university, one of the valedictorians uh, just a few years ago, maybe two years ago, Mr. Kensley Shea. And he finished with a first class degree having stuck it out in the weekend program. And so this is a program that also facilitates academic excellence. So it's not, you know, a program that you could say, oh, let me have my education on the back burner and let me just try and pull through on a Saturday. No, it's a program that allows you to achieve total academic excellence with all the tools and support that you are given uh, from your faculty members and from our wonderful support staff through Ms. Kayan Henry and Ms. Anisha Creary and all of the other individuals who you will come across in your time with us. So I'm happy that you have joined us this morning. I won't uh, speak too long. I know that Ms. Henry will also share some time with you, but you will learn about our flexible learning options. You can choose how many courses you'd like to do uh, per semester. You have uh, the option to do classes during a summer term and it's all on a Saturday. You also have some, uh, exp some opportunity to join clubs and societies and get involved in other activities that students in our regular program do participate in. So thank you for joining us. And as we speak over the next few minutes, you will hear some more about the weekend program. Thank you, Francesco. Thank you so much, Dr. Vassiani. There's this brilliant and beautiful glow that is coming from your screen and it just it's just making it's illuminating it it's my um, halo <laughs> today yes awesome so we are going to introduce miss Kian henry who is an administrative officer in the faculty of social sciences and the program coordinator for the weekend program so Kian, you're up much Francesca and thank you guys for coming out. I did just type a message in the chat if I could have an indication of those of you who are not yet students just so that I could know how to tailor the presentation. All right, so I have, I'm seeing a few of you are not yet students. All right, that's good. So this um, seminar that um, Francesca has organized, it is for you, especially the people who are not yet students. Um, so my presentation now is what I wanted to share with you. Um, yes. This one, thank you, Francesco, is about the weekend program. Dr. Vassiani, I just, I nearly said Professor Vassiani, but Dr. Vassiani for now kind of touched on it. So we, in the weekend school, you only have classes on a Saturday. You don't have to worry about coming up here Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday when you have three class. It's a part-time program, and we only offer three courses per semester. If you were a part-time student in regular school, you would also only do three courses per semester. 
But in the difference with weekend school is that you come on one day. But in regular school, for you to do three courses, you would end up coming up here three days, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Monday, Thursday, Friday, sometimes four days for three classes as well, depending on tutorials. But how we have designed weekend programs, you don't have to leave work early. If you have a pressuring job, I know a lot of you work at call centers and a lot of the people who are in weekend school now, they work at the bank and call centers. And so if you work on a shift, if you have a baby and you have to go home and relieve the help or pick up your baby at daycare, you don't have to worry about those things when you come to weekend school. And basically, weekend school was designed for you. Also, if you don't have any baby and you don't have a pressuring job, but you don't have, and you live out of town, St. Thomas, St. Anne, you can just take drive or get here one day per week and do your degree here. And what I want to say about the degree is, when graduation, the degree does not say weekend school. It's the same exact degree like what they get in regular school. There is no differentiation with weekend school. It's not on the degree. It's just your BSc in accounting, management studies, or human resource management, which are the three programs that we offer in weekend school. There is no difference um, when graduation time. Um, so this is what we are offering presently now. Frank, can I get the next slide, please? All right. So this one is just an example. I thought I would put an example of how the classes are set up in weekend school on a Saturday. So the first class is 8 to 11, and then 11 to 12, we have lunch. And then 12 to 2, 30, we have the second class. And then 2.30 to 5, we have the third class. And then when you get your assignments, so now a lot of, because we teach business courses, a lot of the work is surrounded by group teamwork, team building. And so you're going to have group work. Some of you can stay over on Saturdays or you can have your Zoom meetings during the week, in the nights to plan your, how you're going to do your group assignments. And then you have during the week and on Sundays to do your individual assignments. Can I have the next slide, please? All right. So for those of you who are new, we will show you how to register when and what to register for when you come to orientation on Saturday, August 26th. And this is at nine o'clock, seminar room five, and it's located in the Faculty of Social Sciences, Six Ring Road. And we have a car park. And if for those of you who drive, you don't have to worry. On a Saturday, you can park in the car park at number six. But if you come to regular school, you have to park all the way over students' car park over near to health center. I don't even know where that is. But when you come to weekend school, you get to park in the car park here because it's a Saturday and you're not contending with staff. And so you get to park here and you come and the classes are all around this side of the faculty, SR5, SR4, SR8. And then we have a few over the Alistair McIntyre complex, but we'll show you all of that and introduce you to all of those things when you come to orientation on Saturday, August 26th. Okay. All right. So now I thought that I would put up uh, an example of a summer term timetable. So in weekend school, we have three semesters, semester one, semester two, and summer term. And summer term is compulsory for you to finish your degree in four years. So you will end up doing eight courses. You will do three courses in semester one, three in semester two. I showed that slide already. And then two in, in summer. So eight courses and over four years equal to 32 courses, but you only need 30 courses to graduate. So that last summer, if you follow all the courses that we tell you to do and you don't fail any courses, you don't have to do that last summer. But if you fail a course or two, 
you have that last summer there to catch up with the two courses in the final summer and you can still get your degree in, in, in four years. Another thing about the summer term, so we can school students register for summer term and not for summer school. And we'll teach you all of that then when you come to orientation. So because the summer term is shorter in terms of the amount of weeks, we have to make the classes longer. So the classes are offered in four hour slots over and again, two and a half hour slots in semester one and two, semesters one and two. So we have classes from 8.30 to 12.30 and then lunchtime 12.30 to 1.30 and then the other set of class 1.30 to 5.30 during the summer so that you can get your total amount of hours that you need to get for each class. Next slide, please. All right, so I did a slide for program fees for those of you who are new. Um, at this point, the, the cost of weekend school is 35,000 per course. And you are, you are supposed to do, if you want to finish in four years, you're supposed to do three courses per semester. And then you have to pay a miscellaneous fee of 19,500 per year, but you only pay that one time for the year. So this is what the fee would look like for the first semester. And then in semester two, you don't have to pay the miscellaneous. And if you register for the free courses at 35,000, it will come to 105. So from September to December, this is what you'll pay. 124,500. And then for January to April, you would pay for three more courses at 105,000. And then for summer, two courses, and you'll only pay 70,000. And you can break it down. But if you have all of the money one time out of all of these for the whole year, then you can pay it that way if you want. All right, another thing. If after you're accepted to weekend school, we would be willing to write a letter for your workplace after you've been accepted to break down this fee structure and give to them to tell them what um, your fees are like. If, you're, if your workplace is going to be sponsoring you, um, but the rule here now is that um, you will not be allowed to do your exams if your fees are not paid off. Uh, all right, another thing I want to tell you, so some of the support services, I was supposed to speak to support services that we have here is library. Um, those of you who want to just come up after work during the week and just go in library and work on your paper, do your reading, do your assignments, the library is available. Those of you who may not have um, a laptop for yourself, you can go to library and rent one. You can use the reading library, which is open, I believe, for 24, 23 hours. They'll use one hour to clean. Um, you can sit at a, a lap, a computer there and do your assignments. Um, so those are some of the support services that is available to you, just like in, in regular school. You, once you have your ID, you will be able to access library. You can access the health center once you pay your miscellaneous fee. Um, if you're sick, uh, you can go over to health center and they look, um, you'll be able to see a doctor. And if they have the medication, you can get the medication at a reduced cost. But if they don't have it, you're going to have to buy it outside. And you can get your, your, your teeth clean for one, once per year as a student with your ID if you have paid your miscellaneous fee. Um, also, if you're going through a rough time because we know life happens and you need to see a counselor, you can go over to the counseling center and make an appointment talk with a counselor. Those are some of the services that we, that weekend school students are entitled to. Um, and I'll just close here and then hand over back to Francesco. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Kayan. Um, your background makes me want to go on an adventure. <laughs> I'm ready for the, the road trip. Um, so we're gonna move into our tiger video. Uh, sorry, uh, I didn't sorry, okay. I didn't talk about admission for the people who are new. Okay. You should go on to the you a website and right at the top corner, right at the top corner of the UE Mona website, you would see apply now and you click on it and then you click on it again and you see apply now and it's going to take you to a page where you would fill out and create um, an account for yourself. You create an account for yourself and then you fill out the form and then when you get to it, you tell you click on weekend school, that's where you want to go. And then you, you click on one of the degrees, whichever one you want to do, management studies, um, HR or accounting, and then you submit. It's a regular way, whether you're coming to, into regular school or any other faculty in the university, it's the same way you would apply to come into the university. Um, but you would click weekend school and they would send your, your application over to us. And after you, you will get a letter to say that you have been accepted and you click on accept offer. And that's when they will send your name and number over to us. We'll call you, let you know, or email you, write you about um, the orientation. And then you come to orientation and we teach you how, what to register for and how to register. Awesome, thank you, Kayan. Um, so as you would have seen with Dr. Vassiani's background or mascot for the faculty is the tiger. And we want to give you just a little taste of our tiger and um, what the tiger represents for us. Is it a coincidence that of all the options that were presented to members of our faculty, the majority chose a tiger as our mascot representative? On the surface, the choice of the tiger may appear to be obvious, as the colors of its fur, orange, black, and brown, are synonymous with the faculties orange and black. On the other hand, the choice of the tiger may have been an unconscious calling, in that, as we delve further into our understanding of the symbolic meaning of the tiger, we learn that this species represents strength, courage, determination, dignity, and independence. Yes, this species represents strength, courage, determination, dignity, and independence. A replica of what we as members in the Faculty of Social Sciences have been trying to practice for years and even despite this pandemic. Although the years 2020 and 2021 have brought some challenges and disruptions to our normal lives, it has also brought some unique opportunities. Unknowingly, we seem to have been operating through our tiger spirit. Using our tiger spirit, we have been transforming our strong emotions, such as fear, confusion, and anger, into wisdom. We have risen above and have come to the realization that not only can we manage courageously, but we can become better versions of ourselves. With the strength of a tiger or tigress, we will complete 2021 with faculty pride and integrity, while harnessing our mental and physical strengths. Being the powerful, potent, marvelous beings that we are, we will lean on, encourage and empower each other. Irrespective of the challenges that lie ahead, we know that we can find the willpower to overcome them. Ephesus Tigers and Tigresses, though this 2020-21 journey has been long, we hope to rest at the end of the semester, knowing that we will need to conserve on our energies and choose wisely how we will expend them as we press on through this academic year. In silence and solitude. And free from any distractions, we must reflect on the year, introspect, and stealthily continue our charge into 2021 with ongoing insights, inspirations, and goals. FSS Tigresses. Tigers. This academic, academic year and beyond, we are roll with it.
So we hope at the end of this presentation that we're going to call all of you guys tigers and tigresses um, within our weekend program. So we are at the section of our presentation where you can follow us on social media. <laughs> we are on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, um, YouTube. And at the end, you will see a WhatsApp number where you can contact us, the weekend program, to get more information if needed. Um, and now we start our Q&A session. So if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the chat. Um, or you can do raise hand if there are any um, questions that you have for any of our presenters. I will now also drop in the chat a PDF flyer that has um, a roundup of um, all the information that we presented today, as well as how to contact the weekend program. So let us hear any questions if you have them. So one question I had, and I guess I'll just start off the questions um, for Kian. Um, what does uh, the payment structure look like if you were if you wanted to the weekend program, um, is there a payment plan that one can put in place? Yes. And we have a payment few more plan, questions in the chat. Yes. A payment plan is available for all okay. students, but they would have to go and speak to somebody over bursary. Okay. Just like it's available to regular school students, it's available to weekend school students as well. I don't know the details of the payment plan, but it is, I think you have to pay 25% first before you can go and talk to them, I think. Okay. And in our show up good faith. And then you go and you get somebody and they will work out what your payment plan, like I think you bring in a certain amount of money per month until your your school fees are paid off but i'm i'm not sure of the detail but it's available to all students okay thank you so much all right so we have a question from miss murray um you can unmute your mic and speak please hi good morning everyone so i wanted to know is it possible for a student who is currently enrolled full-time in uh, same faculty, um, can they transfer to do the weekend program instead? So instead of being a full-time student currently enrolled in this faculty, I'd like to switch to the weekend program. Is, is that is possible? That, is, um, yes, uh, I, I'm, oh, sorry. I'm not seeing your first name. It's Alexio. Alexio, yes. Um, Alexio, it depends. Remember, we only have three programs. So what is your, you would have to be coming over in one of our three programs. So suppose your international relations, it might not be an immediate fit. You might have to be willing to give up some of the courses that you've done already. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. But suppose you were in one of the three programs that I've, I've listed then we will look at, you can come to me, myself or Miss Query. We look at what you have passed already and see how best you can fit into weekend school. But yes, it's possible. Okay, I'm in management and I have a year remaining, basically. Mm -hmm. But it would equate to actually four semesters. All right, so you can still come and talk to us because you're not coming mm -hmm. in a cohort. Yeah. We're, we're, we're not totally catering for you. So maybe okay. the courses that we offer in, you may have passed them already. So you have to come and talk to us and let mm -hmm. us see best how you can fit in. And if you can fit in before we say to you, yes, you can come over. Okay, no problem. Totally understand. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the question. Uh, in the chat, we have uh, Samoya Brown asking, so does the weekend program start on Saturday? And I'm assuming they mean this Saturday. 
Um, no, no, Samoya. We start for the new semester. We're gonna start August twenty sixth with orientation. And then the teaching is going to begin the next week, which I think is September 2, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I believe so. Yes, right. So August 26th is orientation and September 2 is teaching will begin for the new semester. Semester 1, 2023-24. Okay. Peter Plummer is asking, is there any room to finish before the four years? All right, so Peter, if you're starting with us from scratch, you can only finish for, before the four years if you pass all your courses and you would only finish this sim, the summer semester before. You wouldn't have to do, but no. As long as you do the three that we set out for you and two in summer, you it's four years, but some people end up doing that extra summer and some doesn't, but if you don't pass, if you don't fail any courses, you wouldn't have to do that extra sum of some don't, sorry. Okay. Um, Kimani Buckley is asking, can I do over courses that I didn't pass in the weekend class? That is statistics and critical reading and writing. You can do them over, but you'll have to wait until they come around again the next time. Okay. So yes, you can do them over, but then you'll be um, you'll be missing out on another course that you will. That is why we have that extra summer for you to make up at the end for those for two more courses. Also, sometimes we give permission for students um, who fail courses to to do it in regular school one or two courses in regular school so as to graduate within the four years okay uh karen brown is asking good morning what is the timeline for responses to applications with august for orientation would it be that acceptance letters have been sent out Some acceptance letters have been sent out already um, for the for those people who had applied early. Yes, I know. But it depends on when your application um, came in, and some are still to be processed. Can you um, who who asked this question? Karen Brown. Karen, have you put in an application? Or are you interested? Would you like to open mic, Karen? Oh, yes, you have. She says, yes, she has put in an application. All right. So and you haven't heard back anything as yet? No, she hasn't heard. All right. Um, Karen, can you give me your middle name, please? You can just drop it in the chat. It's just that those two names are common. So I just want to get a middle name so that I can sign the correct application. It's in the chat. Okay. Okay. I got you. All right. I will check on it. I will check on it and 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 speak to the respective person. Okay. Um, Samoya, the response was that orientation is August 26th, so classes start the Saturday after. But everybody's still to attend orientation. Right, everyone is to attend orientation. Any other questions? Anybody would like to raise hand and ask a question? Uh, I placed the PDF takeaway flyer in the chat. So please um, download it. And if you know anyone else that would be interested in the weekend program as well, you can please share. And it is 11.45. Um, 
if we have no more questions, I think we can wrap up. Uh, the last slide just has some contact information. Okay, Samoya has a question. If you start out part-time, can you switch to full-time? All right, yes, but you cannot switch to full-time and be in weekend school. So you can start in weekend school part-time, but if once you switch to full-time, you have to go over into regular school and do five courses. The difference between part-time and full-time is as a part-time student, you do three courses. And as a full-time student you, student, you do five courses. And in weekend school, our capacity is three courses. So once you want to become a full-time student, you would have to first pass eight courses and then request a transfer to regular school to become full-time because we, can, we do not have full-time status in weekend school. Okay, but you, you can start and then move over if you want. It's it's a free country. You can do that. But you'll have to pass eight courses before they'll allow you into, into regular school. Okay. So Anita Mason has a question. What if I'm not available on Saturdays? Couldn't I do it online? No. Presently, we do not have an online program. So the response, Anita, is currently we do not facilitate online. Okay. So thank you all so much for attending our presentation. If you have any more questions for Ms. Henry or Dr. Vassiani, you may send the questions to our email, fssweekend at umona.edu.jm or you can give us a call um, or WhatsApp on 420-1619. Thank you so much again. Um, it is still morning, so um, do enjoy the rest of your morning. Yes, Sam, we can share the recording. Um, the intention is that we will share it with everybody who registered um, so that those who were unable to attend for whatever reason can still benefit from hearing the presentation. Uh, so yes, do enjoy the rest of your morning and the rest of the day. And thank you so much for joining us. Bye-bye.